I hope you guys are ready for some last Ronin issue number three updates because we've got them today. Hit the like button while the intro plays and stay tuned. As you guys know, we've been trying to do our best to keep you up to date with The Last Ronin. Right now, issue 3 is slated for May 26, 2021, and the title of it is going to be Fight or Flight. We've got some really cool images to show you guys that are being featured that we're going to see in the book. So take a look at these sneak peeks for The Last Ronin issue number 3. So right off the bat, the first thing that gets me excited, we're picking right up from the last page of issue two where we are seeing Fugitoid. And the caption here is, what are you looking at? Survivors and fugitives. Now that really throws back to Fugitoid's debut in the Turtles series back in the days of the Mirage Studios run. That is where he got his name because he was a fugitive on the run and he was also like an android. So Fugitoid, that's how that came to be. Really, really cool. Super excited to see that. We got that awesome picture that is really telling me Fugitoid is actually here present day because we have that that older April O'Neil and we see Michelangelo. Obviously, he's got that big, huge look to him due to his continued mutation, uh, no mask on. So that tells me Fugitoid is going to be a part of this storyline. I'm really excited about that. That opens up the floodgates for where this can go, and it is very exciting. We got to see two separate images there that black and white look really really good i was i was really really happy to see that we also got to see a picture of casey jones uh she seemed like she was fighting and and i'm kind of thinking that that was maybe like a memory she was having because she's talking about um obviously she's talking to michelangelo saying how you guys were basically storybook heroes to me and you know it made me want to go out and learn as much martial arts as i possibly could on my own so I think this is kind of building up to, like I said before, uh, Casey Jones and her group trying to get Michelangelo to teach me, teach us to be able to fight with you. So um, I'm thinking that that kind of has a lot to do with that and, and we're getting a little flashback there. And then of course we see the really cool shot of April O'Neil that says she is April O'Neil, she is a survivor. Obviously that's probably throwing back to that explosion we talked about in issue number two, which I also think is where we're gonna end up losing Casey Casey Jones and possibly uh, one of the turtles there. Raph, uh, I mean, Raph is dead already. Splinter's dead. So we've got Leo and we've got Donnie and Casey left. So I'm thinking this issue, that's kind of where we're going to end up seeing uh, Casey probably lost in that explosion, maybe, and possibly Leonardo as well, just from looking at the cover art. And then we get to see. Hiroto Saki is going to be returning with the other villains that he uh, that, that are part of the new Foot Clan. So that was really cool and exciting to see because we're going to get the progression of the current day storyline uh, because we didn't get too much of Hiroto in issue number two. Issue number one, we did get a little bit, but we still don't know a ton about him, how he became uh, the, the, the leader of the Foot Clan, how he become, how he came to power in general. So I'm hoping that we really get to dig into that story a little more in issue three, and I'm sure we will. Guys, drop me a comment. Let me know what are these images saying to you? What are they speaking to you? Are you excited about this? Because I know I am, and I really hope that that May 26th release date stands. I hope we don't get it pushed out. Just from the way it's looking, it looks like we might be okay to get this one out on time, but drop me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about these images. Are you really excited for issue three? Has these 
ha have the the release dates being spread out so far apart has, has that kind of caused some of the excitement to die down for you i know it hasn't for me but i'd love to hear your thoughts hit the like button if you haven't already if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to the channel we're dropping this content all the time guys you're the best part of two brothers comics and as always collect your way